Hey guys, good morning. Um, what you're fixing to see is what I did yesterday. I cleaned the top of these cabinets off. So that's kind of how the video starts. But once again, I didn't do an intro, so I'm doing it now. I was trying to proofread my video before I uploaded it. So you're gonna see me getting all this top cleaned off and then I'm gonna go into doing a rooster that I had up there that was red and I'm trying to spray paint it white. Um, if you remember, I've told you, I'm trying to use some of the things, if I can, spray them white or spray them black so it gives it more of the farmhouse look instead of the rustic look. Um, Hey guys, um, this morning I'm kind of working in the kitchen with what I've got. I don't have much left. I'm going to have to make a trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, I have a rooster. I told you a lot of my stuff was rustic. So um, I'm fixing to paint it white. I'll show you what it looks like before and kind of show you the painting that I do. But I'm going to paint it white where it makes it more farmhouse look and not so much the rustic look. I had bought this, it's a rooster is what it is, and let me see if I can get it behind me. See behind me, it's a rooster that I had bought in the garden area, I believe at Hobby Lobby like six, seven years ago. So it wasn't much, it's lightweight, but I'm just gonna spray it white and maybe kinda sand through some of the spots to kinda make it more of that rustic look. But um, let me get the camera set up and we'll spray it real quick. know if you know this but when you're spray painting you don't want to just spray hard on it because it'll make it run so you just kind of dust it and keep dusting it until you get some on it you may have to come back and let it it flash dries pretty quick because it is a spray paint so just kind of let it stay there for a minute and dry and then probably 30 minutes you can come back and do another little dusting over it but you don't want it to run if you run, well then you're going to end up having to sand all that down and it causes more work for you. So go light and just keep putting coats on it until it gets to the thickness that you want. I'll do a, let me get this camera turned around and I'll show you an up close of what it looks like now. Okay, so this is still wet, but this is what it looks like. See up close. I don't see much runs, but I think the kind of material it is, it kind of looks spongy. So in a minute, I'll probably dust it again. I think it looks pretty cute though. See, there's some places that are kind of light on it still, so I'll have to come out and dust it. it turned out pretty cute. Okay guys, this is what's happening now. My hair looks like crap. It's what time is it? nine o'clock in the morning and I'm already looking like death warmed over. But anyway, I have called in late to work, uh, which is to my husband. I asked him if I could go to Hobby Lobby this morning or if he wanted me to wait until this afternoon. So he told me I had it on my mind to go ahead and go and then I'll go to work. So what I want to do is go see if I can find some stuff for these cabinets. Um, I've got them cleaned off, if you can see. I tried to work over there a little bit, 
and nothing is just coming together. That's my mess of everything I pulled off of the top or some of it. But um, I'm gonna go run to Hobby Lobby and see what I can find to put up there. Uh, I painted that rooster and he looks good. I think if he had some other stuff going with him, I think he'd look fine. But it looks kind of blah up there. Um, and that, over the refrigerator, that part of that cabinet is huge. So I've got to find something big or a lot of little pieces to go there. So I'm fixing to run to Hobby Lobby and this afternoon I will give you a haul of what I found and what the prices were and then we'll get to working on this side. But right now let's take off to Hobby Lobby and see what we can find. Um, I told you yesterday that I couldn't find enough stuff for my cabinet so I was going to take off and go to Hobby Lobby and do me a haul. So that's what I'm going to show you real quick and then I'm going to get back on those cabinets. The video would be too long if I start decorating that on this one so I'll do another video over the weekend and bring it to you probably Monday of, of me decorating the top. So we're just gonna jump right in to what I got. Um, I'll show you that last. The first thing I got, it says home sweet home. And I told you I was wanting to incorporate the checkered pattern uh, kind of through the house. So I'm gonna incorporate some of it up top. But I thought that was so cute. And this is part of their spring, which is all 40% off this week. And it was $14.99. The second thing I got was this cow plate. I just fell in love with it. I seen it last week and didn't want to get it, but I got it this week. So it was not $2.99, 40% off. I just love it. It's so pretty. I'm just going to probably set it up there and set it on one of those racks, but I just thought it was so cute. Next thing I got, I found one of these little bar stools. I had bought a bigger one, but I wanted a shorter one to, you know, just kind of put height in things. This was in the 50% off, and it was $14.99. Now, I will tell you some of the stuff I got. It wasn't for up there. I, I have a weakness when it comes to Hobby Lobby, and I want everything they've got. So... I try to keep myself steered in, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Especially when it's on sale for 50 off. And this is one of them I'll tell you about. It don't go up there. This little pie plate, I just loved it. But it was 50% off. It was regular, $24.99. So $12 for that's pretty good. was it says our happy place and it was in the 40% off it was regular $34.99 if I can get it up here but I thought that was so cute I thought I could put it above the door right here Was these, I got two sconces. This folds down. But they had all of them for 50 off, and I sat and studied them for quite a while. But I got two of them. They were $29.99, and they were 50% off. The big rooster picture, I'm going to put one on each side. And then I got two of these candles to put on it. It's the Mirage. What does it say? It says, the look of a real flame. I had a couple of them I had bought in Canton, and I think I like those better. But these will work. These were 50% off, which makes them cheaper than what I bought them in Canton. They were $29.99. This is the short one. They had three different sizes, if you can see that. And I got two of the short ones. And they look real similar to those. See how the flame, the camp, I mean the 
camera is not wanting to pick it up right, but I got one of those to put on each side. That's all I had. Well, I have some small stuff over here. I got some big eggs and some small eggs. Package of small eggs. I was watching Queen Bee's Vintage and she was wrapping them with the jute. And I bought two different sizes. I got the smaller and then I got a bigger size. This is real cheap. This is $3.99. And this one was $2.99. They weren't on sale, but they were pretty cheap. <clears throat> but over at Queen Bee, she was just wrapping. She had a hot glue gun. And I thought, well, these would be real cute. And it'll be a fun little a little craft to, to make some and put on. I got a, a basket. I'll go grab it. But I got a basket with a rabbit. And I'm just going to set these in it. I found this too. It was $5.99. But it's got the black and white on it. And I thought that would be real cute to do some of the eggs that way. Or maybe do it with the jute and then wrap this maybe on the outside or or do try to run to it at the same time and go around I don't know I'll figure it out but I thought that would be real cute and that'd be something I can put up and just use year after year bring it out um I got these I didn't even know they had these uh they're hot glue little finger rubbers to put on the end of them so you don't burn your fingers. Um, I had never seen these before, but I looked yesterday and they were $4.99, they weren't on sale. But I thought that might help whenever you're hot glue and especially something small like that and having to hold it down as you go. Um, I've got several hot glue guns, but I didn't have, this is a, it's got the, little tiny tip where it doesn't come out all at once. It was $12.99, that's pretty cheap. I've got hot glue guns because I do, for people that live in Texas, we do the homecoming moms and my daughter likes me to make hers every year. So every year I'm making her moms for her and I could get them a lot cheaper if I just bought them somewhere I already made. But she likes me to do it because they're different from anybody else's everybody else is not anybody but um this takes the the small glue sticks instead of the bigger ones so we'll see how this works i've never had i didn't even know they had one with a small tip but when i was looking yesterday i seen these and uh queen b she was using that and i seen her when she was doing these eggs and i thought huh i've never seen one of these hot glue guns before so I looked yesterday and they were so cheap, I went ahead and grabbed one. And then these are napkin rings, but I thought they would be real cute in a tier. Uh, they were $2.99, but they were 40% off. So I just grabbed a couple. I've got like three tier uh, trays around here and there, but I got a yellow one I thought would be real pretty for the spring or the summer and then the green. But you know that's that's a pretty pretty cheap little decoration this one was $2.99 as well uh, what else we got I got this little tray I thought it was cute a little metal tray it was $3.99 40% off I thought it would be cute in a tier they had all of their ribbon for 50% off so I just grabbed some to stock up because I like making bows to kind of bring the black and white through. Uh, this was $7.99 but it was 50 off. I liked it. I get the ones that's got the wire on the sides because it makes it easier to make the bows. And then I got this one and it was $5.99. I got a solid black, and it was $5.99 as well. But I had some other ones, but I ran out of the bigger, the bigger size. Oh, and I got this one too. I got that. See, I got both of those styles. 
and then that was $5.99. So if you're needing ribbon, you might want to go stock up while it's half off. Uh, let me let me go grab what I've got over there. Hold on. Okay. I got this stand just to add height up there. It was 40% off. It was $11.99. It's really hard. I was wanting the wood stands or the, the metal buckets, but they want too stinking much for them. And this was $11.99 with 40% off, so I thought it was cute. They had some black ones and they had the white and they have different heights if you're looking for something that's a little cheaper. I like doing the baskets and stuff, but they just cost too much money. Um, and then I got this, this basket so I can put some of my eggs in it. I thought it was real cute. They had them in a couple of sizes. I got the, I guess the large, that was the biggest one I've seen. And it was $9.99, 40% off. And then I got this bunny to put in it. I thought he was real cute. Uh, $13.99. And I thought he could sit in there. I think I kind of like that. And then put some grass. I just got grab a couple of bags of the of the grass. It was $1.99. This is the paper shred. 40% off. And then I've seen these cutest little carrots. Isn't that cute? I hadn't seen them before. They, they had them yesterday. But they're $6.99. So I thought that would be cute maybe to stick some in with the eggs whenever I get them made. I'm gonna take those eggs to work and work on them because at work it gets kind of slow in the office. I answer the phones and do invoicing and stuff like that, just run the office. So it gets kind of slow whenever we don't, you know, it's the middle of the week and nobody's coming in because they've already dropped cars off because they usually drop them off on Mondays. And on Fridays it's the pickup day because they're, most of them are usually done by Friday. So during the week, I've got that little bit of a window where I'm kind of sitting there not really doing much. So I thought these eggs would be a quick, easy project to do while I'm sitting there idle in the office. I like to do that. I'll take some of the little small projects with me to work and work on them. Whenever I do these videos, I'll take my laptop with me sometimes and I'll edit videos during the week. So just never know what's going on. Uh, I'll show you. You see this cabinet behind me? I got it yesterday and I absolutely love it. If you remember, I told you on Marketplace I've been selling everything because I was wanting kind of something new, something fresh, kind of going more towards the farmhouse instead of the rustic like I had. So I've been selling things on, on the Marketplace and as I've been selling it, well then, I've been putting the money back into things for around here. Uh, the pictures that are on the wall, um, I'm probably going to end up replacing because it doesn't really go with the farmhouse stuff, I, with the reds. And I may end up putting it in the office when I get ready to do it because I love my pictures, but I don't think it really goes there. So I have a, a plan in mind for that corner, um, but that was the first piece. I'll take the camera over there because there's some buckets that I got that I absolutely love that I'm dying to show you that I'm going to put up here. So yesterday when I came home from work, I just kind of set everything over there so I could do a haul this morning with you. Uh, let me get this camera off and I'm going to come over there to do a close up. Okay. See this cabinet? It is just gorgeous. I love it. Let's see what the price was. They had it 30% off, so it was $159.99. They have bigger ones, of course they cost more, but I didn't need a big one, I just needed something to go right here in this corner, something small. I'm gonna get me a lamp probably and put up there. But look at these pots, aren't they cute? I've 
got stuff in them to get them stacked like that because I want to put them up top. <clears throat> but this this checkered bucket, it was it was $19.99 in the spring section, so it was 40% off. That the potato pot, it didn't have a price on it, so I don't even know what I was charged for it. But um the, the middle one, the vegetable pot, was $24.99. So it was probably $29.99 or something, I guess, and I don't know. And then this top one, it's just the just a regular bucket that was over there. It was $14.99. But I've put stuff in it. If you see, I've got a pot in there. And then we're here. I just put a cup upside down. <laughs> um, that's a, what we mix paint in at work, but the cup works, it's plastic, they're disposable. But it gave me my height that I needed. And then I just put my bags in there to kind of puff it up some. Isn't that cute? I went and grabbed me a garden ball. And I'm gonna put a garden ball on top when I get it like that kind of put some green in it and this pot if I can do it with one hand without dropping it that's how it's gonna go I love it love it love it love it but that's how it's gonna I'm gonna put it on top of my cabinets like that and then those plates I'm wanting to set beside it, but I'm probably going to have to build it up to get it up that high to see. But that's how it's going to go. Okay. Okay. I think that's all that I have for today. But that's all I've got for the haul. The next video, I will be finishing up these cabinets, and hopefully, I got enough stuff to finish it. But um, I don't know if I even got time to work on it today. It's eight o'clock in the morning and it's Friday, which means it's payroll day. So I've got to go and get payroll done this morning. But um, I will do a video over the weekend and bring it to you Monday. And hopefully this will be done, but I'll do little, little recordings to kind of show you what I did and how I did it. But, um, I'm excited to get started. I want to see the black and white up there. Uh, I'm ready to get this finished. So, um, until Monday, y'all have a good day. Y'all be safe out there. It's supposed to rain here through the weekend, but it's supposed to be like almost 70. It, what was it? The beginning of the week, it was in the 20s. So now it's almost 70 today. Actually, the temperature now is 68 degrees. So, who knows? That's Texas for you. We're up and we're down. But until Monday, y'all be safe out there and have a great weekend. Bye.